All right, let's let's see what's new on Twitter today. Let's see some streams, concept art, NASA. Oh, I wonder what Markman's talking about. He looks like he's talking about arcade sticks. See, Mad Cats, Arcade Sticks, Arcade Stick. <gasps> What's this? Can you see that? What? 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 What is this? What? What's that? The legend will never die. What? What does that mean? Maybe this video I have conveniently tabbed open will explain it to me. The legend. But did you see that? That says Soul Edge. And these are a bunch of Soul Calibur characters, and that was the first thing that showed up in the Google search. So, wh what does it mean? A Soul Calibur tweet from Markman? But, but, but Markman, he's the branding community advisor for Tekken, so he must work with Namco, right? Right? So, that means. <sighs> <laughs> what could this mean? Surely Namco would never hint at something and that not deliver upon it, right? R right? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I think I sense a trend here. Hold on a second. This, this actually doesn't confirm anything at all, huh? And if I recall correctly, yeah, rest in peace, Prince. Mark, man. Thank God for Twitter. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, Twitter. Stop failing me. I might have skipped it on accident. No, oh, it's here somewhere. <laughs> there it is. I'm not stupid. Well, Markman says something similar January 27. So, <sighs> what does this mean? Did Namco. Well, he didn't work at Namco at the time, to be fair. But does Namco ever tease people? Would they do that? Oh, man. Let's find out. Let's go to my good, trusted website, 8-Way Run. Let's see, let's see. What's this? Harada teases? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is that dumb thing. Um... In reply to the Soul Calibur fans are still waiting on hashtag Soul Calibur 6. He said, um, he acknowledged it. <laughs> okay, it gets better, don't worry. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Hoshino never reads or replies to anything. That's the guy who runs Soul Calibur now. He says, no, he's reading, but he can't reply. It's a rule by his boss, and he's not his boss. When can the Soul Calibur fans expect SC6? Please ask SC Twitter something. No response? Yeah, I don't know why. I have no comment. That was that was an older tweet, as you can see by the timestamps. Oh, the Soul Calibur talk. What? What? Is there a new Soul Calibur talk? Game? That's what I meant? Alright, alright, let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. Uh, where, where am I looking? Hold on, I, I, I'll find it. Shh. Calm down. Calm. Nah, that's not. I went too far, I think. There it is. There it is. A poll. Namco had a Facebook poll. This is straight copy and paste from a Facebook post they had. Uh, I could search on their Facebook page, but you'll just trust me. I'm sure you could just find it pretty easily if you just scroll down some 
But yeah, they asked for a character pull back in mm, May 1st, 2015. And if you notice, today's date is April 27th, 2016. So, wow, they've been talking about Soul Calibur for a long time. <laughs> wow. And still nothing substantial. Well, uh, hold on. Hold your horses. Remember this video? Remember this? Remember this? The Soul Calibur Lost Swords thing. That that free to play game? Yeah, when it ended God, Oh man, that depressing music. Me. When it ended, they had this thing at the end. Hold on. Okay, not that thing. This isn't <laughs> hmm. Oh Whoa, did you see that long live Soul Calibur back in September 1st, 2015? They said that? The warriors may fade, but their souls will ignite again. That means it's coming again, right? Well, it's been kind of a long time. It, it has been. How do you stay so confident in a game returning whenever they keep posting like this? Not Oh, not to mention that the Soul Calibur Facebook group has been hinting for quite a while i don't know if i have those specific i don't think i do but they've been talking about for quite we'll just go to facebook facebook fuck it fuck it <laughs> oh man I don't know, but a while ago, when they did the poll, I think that's when it was. Yeah, thank you for the votes. And then they would talk about how Pat is low tier or something, <laughs> something dumb. Uh, but yeah, they would post and like reply and hint on the Facebook page too, more so than anything else. And this was back again in 2015. On the bright side, they've also done promotional stuff that kind of helps Soul Calibur. Like, I'm not mad about this. Um, but they had artwork. They did artwork for the game, for a mobile game that they're making at Namco. Or they, that's already made, but they had these cameos. Anyways. Uh, they, they're they showing, they're spreading the, the word on these Soul Calibur characters. So, I mean, that means it's coming, right? Well, this is the trouble of being a Soul Calibur fan. You just get teased all day, and then there's nothing substantial coming to you, you know? Like, we got Soul Calibur 2 HDO since Soul Calibur 5, and we got Lost Swords and that Unbreakable Souls. And not to mention, Lost Swords and Unbreakable Souls are no longer playable. So the only one that's playable is Soul Calibur 2 HD Online, but if you think about that even a step further, the online isn't very good, so that might as well not be playable. In that sense, it's just a Soul Calibur 2 port for the Xbox, basically. And... You know, look at the release dates. Soul Calibur Wiki. Let's just do that. No, not that. Like an actual Wikipedia. Like the the game. So this one came out on the Dreamcast in 1999. I could just type in Soul Calibur release date right on Google, and that should be working. Seven release date. Come on, guys. All right, but still, 1998, 2002, so four years later, three years later, Soul Calibur 3, uh, five years later, but it's more like four years later because they're counting like the initial arcade edition releases, so like this is more like four years after the console release. And then 
another four years from now, you'll see Soul Calibur 5 came out. And it's over four years later, and there's still no announcement for Soul Calibur 6. So, how, like, it's not part of the normality, right? Maybe they're going to spend more time on the next game, but it just, it's just maddening to even think about this stuff, right? Because they drop so many hints, like Namco people, and then uh, we don't get anything. And not, not only that, we can't even talk to Hoshino, because I could send him any tweet, and he doesn't reply. Like, if you look at tweets and replies, there are no replies. He doesn't reply. This is just an ad bot, as he saw in a tweet earlier from Harada. Like, the, his boss doesn't let him talk, so, like, it's crazy. So, it's maddening to be a Soul Calibur player, you know? Or, a, not really a player, but a fan. Because if we, I want Soul Calibur 6 to come out, and I'm sure everybody wants Soul Calibur 6 to come out. But, I mean... They hint and hint, like, can you just capitalize on it already? Give us some information. Like, it's so disheartening because we were supposed to have news soon, like, forever ago. That's one of the things that this Facebook page said, was like, stay tuned for news soon. And then, like, a year later, we don't have any news. There's no news. Nothing to get hyped for. It's crazy. The only thing to get hyped for is Tekken, like... If you Tekken 7 is already out in arcade, like in the game before that Tekken Tag 2, like to be fair, the console version came out after Soul Calibur 5, but the arcade edition came out before it. So this like is maddening as well because they've had the console version of this game. And they can already look forward to a new game. Since after, like this came out, the console version came after Soul Calibur 5. And then they already have a new game to look forward to, so. It's crazy. And then the, the director there for Tekken is great, right? He, uh, oops. He always replies to people. He's always talking. Or, and people related to him will will talk about Soul Calibur. He's he's basically the Soul Calibur guy right now, even though it doesn't say it here. But on the real note, I can get the most information out of this guy than I can out of this guy. This guy is not this guy. Whoever this is, this guy is like one big mystery. Nobody knows anything about him for the most part, besides that he worked for, for Namco for a while. He, he was behind, uh, he was, he was the director since like 2013, 2014. He, he came out, uh, with three games, Soul Calibur 2, which was made by the European team, if I recall correctly. So it wasn't like entirely him. Then there was Unbreakable Souls and Lost Switch, which was totally him. Uh, or at least Namco told him to do it. And, you know, we all know how that turned out. We can't even play those anymore. So, it, it's just, you know, we're in, like, not a very cool state with the Soul Calibur series. But, I really hope that they're not just stringing us along with, like, these tweets like these. Because all this does is, like, make me upset. Because I've been waiting for so long for a new Soul Calibur game. I mean, it's been f over four years since the last one. I think we're all ready for a new one. So. I don't know if they're concerned about it conflicting with Tekken 7 or what, but... I just hope that a new one comes out. We need it. The Soul Calibur community wants it. We'll buy it. Just don't make it free to play <laughs> or online only. Don't do that again. But that's pretty much how I feel about Soul Calibur news as of late. 
it's just been dry and not substantial and pretty much overall dumb. So I'm looking forward to Tekken 7 in the meantime, since that's what they want me to look forward to. Uh, but I would really, really appreciate something substantial with the Soul Calibur news. Because I don't give any care in the world for Soul Calibur 2 HD Online. I don't care about Lost Swords. I don't care about Unbreakable Souls. I don't even care about backwards compatibility. I want a new game. Is that too much to ask for? I don't know. I guess I guess it might be. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. We tried so hard, and we only got so far.